Good afternoon, everyone. Have you encountered the Shannon Weber model of communication? For today's episode, we will going to be tackle one of the model of communication that is considered as the mother of all models. For today's objectives, last time we tackled about the other model of communication, which is the SMCR model of communication, which is introduced by David Berlos. And now we're going to different this communication into the other communication. And we will gonna be discover the history of this model of communication and when did it start. And for the last objectives, we will determine how this process of communication exists from sender to receiver. Now for the introduction, the Shannon Weber model of communication, also known as the Shannon Weber model of communication theory, was developed by Claude Shannon and Warren Weber in 1948 to 1949. It's a mathematical model that describes the process of communication as a linear sequence of events involving a sender, a message, a channel, a receiver, and a feedback. According to this model, communication begins a sender who encodes the message and transits it through a channel uh, to receiver who encodes the message. The channel will introduce noise or interference that distort uh, the message during transmission. Feedback is then provided by the receiver to, to sender completing the communication loop. The Shannon Weber model is of, often used to fill such as information theory, telecommunication, and media study to analyze and improve communication systems. It is in light the importance of clarify accuracy and feedback in effect communication. Now let's proceed to the background of this theory. The Shannon Weber model was first proposed in the 1948 article in a Bell System Technical Journal by Claude Shannon and Warren Weaver. The article named um, A Mathematical Theory of Communication. This Shannon, Weaver, Shannon and Weaver were both from the United States and Shannon, Claude Shannon was a mathematician while Warren Weaver was an electrical engineer. This theory um, is often simply called the Shannon information theory in science discipline because many believe this mathematical theory of communication was mainly developed by Claude Shannon alone while Warren Weber had a minimal role to its theory. So, no, Shannon developed the theory to improve understanding of communication via telephone and eventually to improve the quality of phone. So, he improved the quality of phones that is one of the tools in this way of communication. Then later, it was used um, as a general theory of communication, so it became big and one of the most used theory up until now. So let's proceed to the definition of the Shannon Weber model of communication. It is a in which information flows from a sender to a receiver. In contrast, infrastructure is a model which describes both the sender and the receiver engaging simultaneously. This model is specially designed to develop the effective communication between sender and receiver. Also, define factor which affect in the communication process called noise. At first, the model was developed to improve the teaching communication. The model was developed to represent the basic elements of communication and explain how messages can become lost or distorted. Shannon and Weber believe that they, by identifying barriers to communication, you can develop strategies to overcome them. And now... For the elements of communication by Shannon Weber model, we have here the sender, encoder, channel, noise, decoder, receiver, and feedback. First model is the sender. It is the individual who initiates the conversation by creating message, encoding it into a communicable form, choosing the appropriate channel to transmit it, and then adjusting the message based on the feedback received to the receiver. For example, of the sender is the teacher who is delivering a lecture is the sender. They are conveying information and knowledge to the students or the receivers through verbal communication. Next model is the encoder. It is the person or device that converts the initial message or information into a coded format such as words, symbols, gestures, or digital signals that can be properly transmitted through a chosen channel and then decoded by the receiver. For example, of the encoder is the in in one conversation. If you are explaining an idea to to a friend, you are acting as the encoder. 
you are taking your thoughts and converting them into spoken words that your friend can understand. And the next model is channel. Uh, it refers to the medium or method used to convey the message from the sender or the encoder to the receiver. This could be anything from spoken words in a face-to-face -face conversation, written text in an email or letter, a telephone line for a call, or even a digital platform for online. It is also called medium because it serves as the medium that carries the sender's encoded message to the receiver. For example, is a telephone or in a video call. The channel is the telephone line or internet connection that carries your voice and possibly video from your device to the other person or device. Now, let's proceed to the fourth element of this communication, which is the so-called noise. The keyword for this is it interrupts a message. In communication, noise is anything that stops a receiver from fully comprehending the message that is coming from the sender. It is named noise because basically noise could stop understanding of the message. And this noise could happen or could exist both internal and external. In internal, it exists during the process of the communication in terms of encoding and decoding. Noise happens in encoding when we misspell a word in a text. And in terms of decoding, it happens when someone misinterpret a sentence when reading an email. External noise exists when someone is speaking with a heavy accent or someone or the sender really um, mumbles or whispering when speaking. Now, let's proceed to the decoder. The keyword for this is it happens through devices like telephones. An example of this is when telephone turns signals such as digits or wavebacks at sounds. And another example is when a cell phone turns also bit uh, data into readable and listenable messages. Now, let's proceed to the receiver. The keyword for this is where the person finally gets the message. So, the receiver might be the person or might be the end of the telephone. Um, the receiver also exists when we or when we write an email or an reply to an email. Now, let's proceed to the final element of this communication, which is the feedback, which is the keyword is the message response or response. In feedback, we will determine if how the receiver understood the message well and how they interpret the message well. We should take note that feedback does not occur at all times. Sometimes, like we're watching in a TV, we don't let the people talking in the TV know what we're thinking. We should also take note that feedback exists or happens during when we are chatting with a friend, when we um, reply into an email, and last but not the least is through body language and facial expressions. Now, we fully comprehend and understand what the Shannon Weaver model of communication really is. Now, our group prepared a simple mini role play that shows how this process of communication exists. Let's watch this. Thank you, ma'am. What is it? Thank you. Where's Dina? Can you call her? I need her right now. Yes, ma'am. Dina, Mr. Evangelista wants to see you in his office. For what? I don't know. It's urgent. Sir, I'm here. What do you need? Don't forget our appointment with Ms. Nambayan at 9 a.m. sharp. Yes, sir. I scheduled it. She's on her way now. You can call her later. Thank you. Yes, sir. Evangelista from Dina Sara Investment Company. I just want to clarify if you want to continue in our investment company. 
What? What? I can hear you. What? Magsasara? Huh? Again, ma'am, this is Dina Sarak Investment Company. I just want to clarify if you want to continue in our investment company po. Dina Sarak Company po, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't understand you due to the noises that surrounds you. Our appointment is still on 9 a.m. sharp. See you. Okay.